Oh, Edwa. So I just need a red green then. Surely getting a red green isn't gonna be God's hardest battle. Surely? Okay, two blue, it's not quite what I want. What the f dude, like why? Okay, just a red red blue. Red blue. Red blue. It's not that hard. <gasps> Fuck, I rolled over it! Okay. It's all good. Okay, we're saved. We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. We're saved. Rage, right? Did Bro, I just said Rage is now built into every single melee, and you're saying I wonder if Flicker Strike is gonna get it. What do you think, bro? What the fuck do you think? Man, some of y'all got some 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 learning disabilities. All you think is flicker, 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 flicker. Like y'all, y'all got some freaking brain damage. Man, that's so trash. Like, what is that? 130 IPD, T2 attack speed, strength, and open prefix for. Is that Fizz? Like. What'd you walk into? The best league starter on the next patch. Oh, no! 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 So look at this layout. Imagine you enter, you go down, you go down, you go down, and it's a fucking ball side area. If I saw this shit, I am logging out. I am not even joking. I will be loading up the League of Legends. When you hit it, it instantly counterattacks you. And the counterattack ability will do, um, shut the fuck up. I'm talking. In Path of Exile 3.25, we've made a number of changes to starting skill gems. From now on, Marauder will automatically get Righteous Fire after killing Hillock. They probably don't know Melee that well, and it's not gonna take a lot to make it just like... blatantly bullshit OP, but they might have done it subtly and it's not like too much, but they might go way too far. Because Melee last league was the strongest Melee has ever been in the past, like, four years, I think. There were a couple builds that were just, like, absolutely absurd. I need a deck snapshot thing here. Thank you. So if they overdo it, everybody's just going to play Melee. Should have been some kind of announcer voice or something, because your voice. Damn, dude. Why, thank you, friend. I'm glad you enjoy it. Would you like to know who I copied? <clears throat> hey folks, Riker here. Today we're going to be talking about the newest patch for Path of Exile, but more importantly, can it still compete with Diablo 4? I don't have any more water, read, dude. In 3.25, we are changing the bandit quest reward in Act 2. If you choose to help Oak, he will grant you plus 40 to maximum what life. What the heck? Helping Alera grants you 15% to all elemental Nerves. resistances. And helping Creighton gives you 8% increased movement speed. What? If you choose to kill all three, Aramir will give you one passive skill point. What? We have also changed. Like I said, not a good crafter, but he is a good cat. Welcome to King's March. Oh shit. Building! It's Fans! not much yet. But with your oh! help, we can erect the greatest Let's city Raycast has ever seen. Base upgrading! We'll need resources. Farming resources! And savvy planning. Mining shit! Bro! Oh my god, it's got literal farming in it. Soon. And now you love DP? I love DP. It's like the best shit ever. DP. DP. Now I'm a big now fan of DP. Now, now. Pulling 313 attack fuck damage is at level 20 bro? to a massive 552 <laughs> attack damage. 
It's also worth noting, it no longer knocks enemies back. <laughs> what the and fuck? Sweep has gone from dealing 281% attack damage to now dealing 664% attack damage at gem level 20. What do they... These are just two examples. Are you kidding me? But the majority of melee skills are now dealing approximately 75% more damage at level 20. What the actual fuck? With melee comes close proximity combat. So, you... It's also been updated. You can now find one new and many reworked base types, <laughs> new unique items, <laughs> Do you see that corpses dude? you can use to raise a spectres, yes! and yes! occasionally a fragment, granting yes, access corpses! to the King in the Mist's boss fight from the yes! Affliction League. Fuck he yes! will drop a number of unique items that were familiar from the League. Yes! But not that which was taken. As it is at a hot oh, topic, no, dude. Magic In the Settlers of Kalgar expansion, we are going to it's be removing over. item quantity bonuses from all character items. It's this over. This will not affect existing items in standard leagues. Magic Find is intended to be another access on your gear you can scale once you have achieved the power you want. With item... Now, it's That's time a to big multiplier a if you're doing quad work, guys. Magic find. Quad's gone! In the Settlers of Kalgar expansion, we are going to be removing item quantity bonuses from all characters. Let's fucking items. go. This will Bye, Fog Gun! Bye! Items. Bye! Magic find isn't. Could I, my dead Ziggy fucking day? What the fuck? They're like, yeah, we're adding Age of Empires into the game. They're also adding an auction house for currency. Oh, by the way, uh, there's like all this thing that we other that this like, yeah, we're remaking uh, melee. Like it, it's, dude. What the fuck? It's uh, one, People two. It. It's two, th uh, three, five. So yeah, four encounters fight monsters in circle, and one is fight monsters in whole area. Right. Perfect. Yeah, that, that's like everybody's favorite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Friendly reminder, though, uh, the other thing just had like a green monk, so that's pretty cool too. Back to it that. is a and and again. Monster and Circle League. Yeah. Sure. Yes, yes, of course. Sure. It all comes back to it that. It is a and and again, you can. There's no real harm in like just doing that for as long as you want. Accumulate. Duo still worth it? What's the point of playing duo? Duo is like giga dead. Because you can't stack quant, so you're playing a regular character. And if you're playing a regular character, why do you need an aura bot? Because a regular character can clear everything in the game anyway. Breakable's ruined. Fucking God. Oh my God. 
No changes to RF, so it's good. RF is still fine, but there are a lot of changes just not directly to it. Like... Defiance of Destiny being nerfed, Adorn being nerfed, uh, Herald of Ash basically getting removed, Taste of Hate being nerfed, all of our war cries being kind of useless. There are definitely some changes, though. It's beautiful. Like, th 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 this is not a nerf. Let's be clear. This is not a nerf. This is a fucking deletion. An absolute destruction. Like, it's not about triple tapping. This is, like, evaporation. It's gone. However, unless they modified corpse skills further, DD could still be very useful for one-shotting bosses, from other bosses, with, like, a one-link. We'll see. We'll see if there's more later. Itemized corpses are spe spectral, so you can't use, like, uh, ritual corpses to blow them up. They only spawn if you have the gem, so you, it's actually only for minions now. The way it should have always been. Dude, Firestorm of Pelting is actually the most insane gem in the world now. It got more than a triple damage buff. Even though its base damage didn't increase at all. If you play this with Archmage right now, it literally has triple damage. And if you looked at Dan's old Trickster build, this is going to take a build that has some like 200 million damage to 500 million damage right now. I know that's a huge exaggeration, but this is absolutely insane. I mean, Firestorm Pelting was probably the biggest single target skill in the game as far as spells go. And it got tripled. And it has a max Firestorm limit of like 10 or 12 or whatever it is. I think this is going to be the number one spell coming up. If Grinding Gear nerfs this before the patch actually drops, I'd be really surprised because they tend not to do mid-league patches or post-patch note patches. Um, so I'm really looking forward to playing this as my league starter for next league. Call to Arms has been renamed to Auto Erotic Asphyxia, uh, Auto Exertion. All I'm going to say you can still mf one month into the league you can still get legacy gold rooms legacy apprentice blazing and legacy distill it i'm just saying you can still get quant one month in right oh oh some gun five gun in shambles <laughs> <laughs> Delve is no money. They they removed the only money thing from Delve and then didn't add anything back. There was no like replacement. And they removed the Fizz to Ellie helmets. So Delve is like insanely dead with both those things gone. This item has existed for like eight years in basically its current iteration, and now it finally got changed. Taste of turd. <laughs> it's gone. Strike skills which target enemies can do so from 40. Oh shit! Come on, he tell Khan! He's fucking not playable. He's fucking not playable. I cannot play the game anymore. He's fucking dead. What the? F oh, dude, dude. It's 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 back. It's back. I, I don't know how good the bleed stuff is. We'll look at some of that later. I'm not gonna look at that right now, but you know, if I were a betting man, this is probably the best skill in the game for melee. I'm not gonna say of everything. This shit is nuts. Shield Crash can- I fucking would've wiped my ass with Shield Crash. Man, Pathfinder got dicked on, eh? Yo, Pathfinder got dicked on, because they also nerfed Coil, right? So, Pathfinder got- Ranger got dicked on. Like, penis inside. Like, holy... Berserker, it lost uh, Rage damage, it lost Exerted damage. I don't even know why you would click that fucking Ascendancy. I, that's my initial assumption of Berserker is it's worse than Slayer. Truly. 6%. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
You have to go Blade Glad? There's no way Blade Glad isn't good, right? There's no... Um, well, man, you guys were triggering me. When when they show it, when, like, I was just watching the, like, initial trailer. I was watching it for, like, 10, 15 minutes. I, and I glanced in chat and people were like, Resident Sleeper snoozing at the League Mechanic. I'm like, what is wrong with you people? I, I don't understand what's wrong with you guys sometimes. Like, you just want to kill Monster and Divine Orb drop. You're so stupid. <laughs> You're fucking retarded. You just want to kill Monster and Divine Orb drop. Think about how dumb you are when you think like that. Dude, that ship thing, is it some spreadsheet Andy thing? Am I going to have to suck Grimro off in the back of a truck stop bathroom and drink his cum? To, to get a glimpse of, to divine a glimpse of how to play the new spreadsheet thing. I will donate some, I will buy people a, a supporter pack. I will buy a chat, a free supporter pack for every character Ben rips. For real. This league. Every melee character he rips. Like for real, uh, uh, there has to be a for real rip though. If he's faking it, that don't count. Okay. How does Steel Mage already have a Mage Blood? I'm just farming all day. Guys, I have a job. I don't, I, I, I guys, I don't have all day to, to, to play Path of Exile. I have a job. Quantric. I'm gonna throw in a couple coins. I'm Fub Gun. Oh. Uh, I can't use a face cam because I'm rock hard for my magic find all stream long. My cock would be covering the cam. Oh. That's plus 60. You know that, right? Here, let me show you what Molten Strike has. Molten Strike has 0.7 now. Next league, it's going to have 0 0.0. It's going to be 0, 0.0. You're literally going to be like, like, if Molten Strike was a cock, Right, and the monster had the cock. Your your throat is literally on the balls. That's how close you have to be. Like you're like, <sighs> like that's what you sound like when you kill the monster. Okay. Well, I'm gonna be sixty away killing the monster. You're gonna be deep throating the monster. Doubled. Uh huh. Chance to block attack is lucky if you block recently. Okay, oh, oh, it still has Explodey. Wait, Explodey is the second node. Wait, guys, I'm going Bleed Bow. Berserk has been nerfed, just so you're aware. We have changed how Bleed works too. You can now find aggravated Bleed on the- Now uncheck Rage? Okay, yeah, but I have double the damage. And Rage is actually gonna be more- Why would I uncheck Rage? You know this is a melee skill, right? I have all the benefits of melee. I get fortify on this. It's literally melee. They fucked up. Mark Dunn fucked up. He put melee tag on a range skill, and now I'm just gonna fuck the game up with a range skill. Fuck playing melee. Thanks for buffing my range skill. Catabasis all the way, boys. Next league is Catabasis time. It's a melee skill. I'm going to have Fortify. I'm going to gain my Rage. My Rage is going to buff my melee skill. Dude, I'm going to be fucking humongous on this, dude. I'm Catabasis. Just call me Rue Catabasis. Streamer, are you fine? Size, meh, cry, meh, no longer, meh, makes it easier for you to meh, stun meh, enemies. The meh, user and the meh, nearby us get a buff that meh, increases their armor. And strong duration. Oh, threshold. Sorry. Meow. Buff. Meow. Grants. Five. Meow. More. Meow. Armor. Meow. Per. Five. Meow. Power. Okay, I see. It's for stun. Size. Meow. Size. Meow. Trick trap of swells. No. I mean, this would be particularly good on some fights, right? Maybe an Exarch. Um. And Uber Shaper. Fucking. Maybe Uber Maven. Uber Elder. Queen in a tier 7 map, yeah. Like, yeah, a lot of different things. Everyone's just gonna be in Sanctum. 
everyone's going to be in Sanctum or farming T-17 bosses, making 20 div an hour. And you know what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be sitting in my settlement simulator, making one div per day. Sushi, sitting in the corner of his cottage, eagerly awaiting his one chaos stash from his recent island expedition that he waited five hours for. I don't like Dark House of Grace. You ever know. Got a Minotaur, portal out. Stand there for like a hundred seconds. Portal back in, start the YouTube video. <laughs> start talking. <laughs> now I would never do that chat. I would, I would never do that. Just, just run around circles for like two minutes. <laughs> start the video. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait, hold on. Next level chat. You take more attrition, run around circles for two minutes. Unspec the points, inspect them into this node over here, and then- Drinks to the moon. Liquor is looking, uh, pretty yummy. There's gonna be so many in-game flickers. So many people on Reddit are gonna be like, Flicker is not for me, I just found out. <laughs> gonna be funny. We're gonna- we're gonna be giving out medication on Reddit. For people who want to play Flicker but feel sick, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, and not only that, this is the only way that you can use the recombinators, right? So, you know what we're gonna have this league? We're gonna have crack farmers posting on TFT that they have crack. The Raider Ascendancy class found itself lacking, mm -hmm. with many of its passives commonly available elsewhere. We want our Ascendancy classes to always feel like they're pushing the boundaries allowing you to change your character in ways that are meaningful and ideally unique. As a result, we've straight up removed the Raider. Rest in peace. And we've added a new class and it's- Sounds like the mandatory then. <laughs> Wait, is this the new totems? They removed ancestral totems, but every build has to use a banner and place it in every boss now. Log out. Your build is insane, Rue said, as he slipped his feminine hand into Quantrix pants and smirked. Are you trying to impale me? Protests Quantrix. As Rue blushes, the boyish figure undressed before Quantrix. Re weak build, Rue. The two kissed deep and passionately, and afterwards Quantrix placed his tremor rod into Rue's putrid cloister.